today we're here with a video on learning how to do DIY marble rock painting. So this is an indoor craft, so before you start the craft, you want to make sure that you wash your rocks thoroughly using a brush and dish soap. And you also have something that if you spill paint on it, so in this case we have a vinyl tablecloth, so that um, if you spill paint on your table or on the floor, um, it doesn't stain. And we also have napkins that we're going to paint on, a paper plate each that our rocks are going to dry on, two paper cups, and then we have about a half cup of just regular tap water. And then we have our paint. We have our two base colors. This is for if you're going to use like darker base colors, like these two colors. We have black apple barrel paint. And then we have white um, Waverly Inspirations chalk paint for brighter colors as a base. And then also, this is optional, we also have glitter, glitter. that we're going to add into our paint as we do our rocks. And then let's get into detail about our brushes. So for my brushes, I have two medium sized rocks. So I have a round brush. I have a teeny tiny one to get inside all those little crevices. And then I have a flat head brush that I'm going to use also. And, and then, then for me, I have a medium size and a smaller rock. So for my medium sized rock, I'm going to use a little bigger of a flat head brush. And then I have a sponge brush for the smaller rock. And I have, like she said, I have a small one to get inside the crevices of the rock. Let's start. So first, pick out the rock that you're going to be doing for your dark colors, and then set that aside. And then you have your white color rock. And then you're going to take your white, open that up, pick your brush, and then you're just going to paint the outside of your rock white. You don't have to do the bottom because if you, when you, we do the paint on top of the rock later, it seeps onto the bottom, so you don't have to paint that part. My first rock does not have crevices, so I don't think I have to. Put all the ones mine has. Try to paint the whole entire surface. This is why we need water to wash off our brushes. So that there aren't any parts of the rock visible. Oh, I got paint in my hand. I'm a messy person. So I have all these crevices and eye rocks. That's why I need my teeny tiny brush. You have smooth rocks. Yeah. We just got these out of like our garden or landscaping area. You can do that too. If you want, you don't have to like go to the store or buy any. Does not matter which rocks you have, but I recommend getting flat round rocks. Sort of like mine, like this one. We are going to finish this up real quick. Yeah. While she's finishing that up, I will say I made this before I made this video. I made it using a similar technique to what we're going to do with this. It is an MP4 player case using a whole bunch of fancy dancy little colors. Okay. I'm going to put the lid back on this. I want that to dry. Moving on to the next step, you're going to take one of your little cups and then you're going to pick a color that you're going to use as, as your a, um, base or main color. To main, as your main color. So I'm going with Apple Barrel Caribbean. And I'm going with Apple Barrel Sky Blue. Oh, before you open that, you want to shake, 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 shake. Open that up real quick. No and then you're going to want to fill it. Just so you can't see the bottom of the cup. You cannot see the white bottom of the cup. Yours is loud. Pink doesn't like it. Moving on to my second color, I'm going to go with a lovely limeade shade of green. Make sure it's all the way covered there. Limeade green. And I think I'm going to do pink parfait. Open that up, and for this one, you only want to cover it half of about pink. halfway. You want to cover it. About halfway right there. Put that back. Quickly moving on to our next color, I'm going to take the Apple Barrel Sky Blue. And I'm going to use Apple Barrel Limeade. Oh, at this time, if you have glitter, I recommend putting it in. I'm going to go with a green glitter. And I'm, I'm going to put it on my green. 
And I'm using gold and I'm just going to put it on top. Don't want to do too much. Just enough so that you can see it. Okay. I'm going to go on to my next color. This one, you don't want to cover up the glitter right now. You don't want to cover up the glitter with this paint. Ooh, this thing is on. Yeah. So I covered about half going around the glitter. Just and then do we cover up the glitter with our last color? Yes, you're going to okay. choose one more color and then you're going to cover up the glitter with that. I'm going to go with Fuchsia. I don't know how to pronounce that, but... <laughs> and I'm going to go with Caribbean. Oh, oh wow, y'all. So look at that. Look at, listen to that one. This one's like very watery. And then you cover the whole entire surface. Oh, no, no. You don't want to cover up the whole thing. You just want to cover up the glitter. Not the whole thing. And then once and then you've done that, you're you going to take, take your skinny brush that you hopefully have rinsed off in the water, and you're just going to go back and forth a few times. So you're going to make like W's or M's in your water like that. So it should look like this. Bye. Before you mix it. Okay, now moving on to the scary step. You're going to move your rock over into the middle. Oh, she's almost done there. That's what that should be about what it looks like. You don't want to mix it too much, so the mix, colors are starting to like change. Blend together. Yeah. Okay, so now she's gonna take the rock and she's gonna move it into the middle, like right there. You're moving from there. She's actually never done this before, so it's kind of fun to explain this to her. And then you're gonna take your cup really quickly, and then you're gonna flip it over. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, my rock is stuck. That's pretty. Then if you need to, you can make more paint. See, I've already run out. Yours? No, I didn't mix mine. If I need more paint, so I'm just gonna take my flathead brush, this one, and then I'm gonna scoop it all out onto my rock. That's actually like really pretty. Don't know if I made enough. So as you can see, I have a whole bunch of white spaces. So this is why you need your flathead brush. And I'm gonna fill in those little white spaces with this stuff that fell off the brush, the rock onto this side. Uh, so if your paint completely covered your rock like mine did, it should look something like this, depending on what your colors were. And for mine, I used like a lot of lighter colors. That's pretty. I know. I mean, thank you, <laughs> but. The lime green actually really showed through here. Okay. And, and then runny. we're gonna do. Now you're gonna take some more glitter because it doesn't usually throw show through that much. So you're gonna take a little bit more. You don't want to put too much because then oh this looks like a little weird. It's gonna do like ooh. Oh done. Oh my gosh, mine looks like a <gasps> how oh, I pushed the cap in all the way. Whoopsies. I'm not going to be using any more of that glitter today. Okay, so once you finish that... Oh, you and I have like similar colors, even though we didn't use the same exact paint. Okay, so after we do that, what do we do next? Oh, next you're going to take your super skinny brush. We're going to be using this a lot today. And then you're going to take your paper plate and your paper cup. And then you're going to take your paper cup and you're going to flip your it over. Your paper cup? Your other clean paper cup. Okay. And then you're going to flip it over and put it on right there. So on your plate. There's hair on my plate. Actually, let's just use our used paper cup. Use, you're gonna use so your take paper one cups. of your paper cups and you're going to flip it over you're used onto your plate. And then you're going to take your super skinny paintbrush and you're going to shove it underneath the rock, like right there. Then you're going to lift it up. Ooh. Then you're going to put it on top of your paper cup. That, people, is why we have vinyl tablecloth. Tablecloth. That's the word. Because I'm a tablecloth. See, and then now, as you can see, it's on there. Now so this is going to help it dry so it doesn't drip into a puddle underneath it. As you can see on mine, it's like... It runs on the side dripping. Of the yeah. You don't want it to dry to the plate. Now you're going to take your used paper towels and throw them in the garbage can. Oh, yeah, I didn't know we had a garbage can there. Then you're going to take your towel. Actually, let's not take your towel. Let's be very nice to this towel. I'm going to go get us some more paper towels for this. So for this one, you're going to need like five paper towels. So you're going to need a lot of paper towels this time. We are going to 
going to I'll use take the blue these one. lovely colorful paper towels that we used for our previous rocks. Yes. And we're going to start on our second rock now. So now you're going to take your dark colored rock. Bam. You're going to set that right down smack in the middle. You're going to take a black base color. Or gray. You can also black use gray, gray if you don't have black. We, I use gray have, for... I use gray as my base for that this one. one. Okay, now I'm going to open that up. Ooh, that was hard to open. <gasps> this is why you have shirts you don't really mind getting dirty, folks. Yes. Okay, now we're going to take the paint. You're going to dip it in there. Ooh, wow. Then you're just going to cover that up. You don't need too much. Oh my god, it's stuck in there. <laughs> okay. And then make sure there's no parts of the rock still showing. Ooh, this is a good brush because now I don't have any crevices for this rock. That's why I like using okay. the sponge one. Because I'm going to rinse that off. My sponge one actually like makes it smooth. That's cool. Do you need any more paint or are you good? No, I'm good. Okay. Put the lid on. I paint all over my fingers. I'm a very messy person. I will say. So make sure. I'm gonna move on real quick. So now I have my second paper cup. I'm going to choose a lovely base color. Uh, for this one, I'm going with Admiral Blue. It's kind of like a navy color. Also, apple barrel. And then you're gonna go get your paper cup and you smack it right back. I wanna use that color too, so I'm waiting. Okay. She's also going to use it. My bag. Okay, it's fine. That's good enough. There's not much paint left in that one from the paper tracks. And then I'm going to take green, Kelly green. By the time you're done filling this cup, it should be like when you've put your fourth color on. Try to make sure it's filled up about halfway if you have a bigger rock. For this one, so you that it also, covers the whole entire thing. Yeah. So for this one, you also want to cover up the whole bottom. Shake up your paint before you put it in. There's like one left in here. Then you also want to cover it up halfway with your second color. Then for your third color before that, I'm going to take green or blue. I'm going to do green and blue as my glitter, and I'm going to put it on there right on top of that second color. Why is there none of it? No, oh, there's not much red left. You can hear it, but it's not going to come out. <coughs> Looks like ketchup. Ew. But it's not like crumble there. That's done. That was my base color. And then my secondary color is going to be this. Moving right along after you put your glitter in there. I'm going to take another color. Laguna. It's kind of turquoise. Shake, 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 shake. I'm going to put that in there. And then now for this one, you want to cover up just the glitter. Just the glitter. My glitter got everywhere, so I have a lot of cover up. This thing's out. So I'm going to use the other teal. I need to put my glitter in now. I'm going to use pink this time, I think. Fancy. And I'm going to do a bonus color this time. Let's do marsh green. And then... Fancy dancing on that. So this is what mine looks like before I put my last color in. As you can see in the sunlight, it's almost halfway filled. So I'm going to take my gray. Well, we're both going to use some gray. And then you're going to squeeze that in there. Not You don't want to cover up the whole top, otherwise that will be the only color you see. And then I'm going to shake, 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 shake. Did I already use red? Yes. I think so. I know this is a brighter color, but I'm also going to use it. It's limeade again. As long as you have mostly dark colors, yes, as she said, you can also use brighter colors. I think I'm done now. I'm going to take my... I have one more color left. Itty Bitty Brush. Oops, sorry about that. 
I'm going to take it and then I'm going to do my W's again. And then I will take my cup. Ooh, here comes the scary so part. doing with this one, you're just going to make spinnies in it until you're satisfied with the marble looks that you have. Oh my gosh, look at my hands. Guys. <laughs> I'm going to wait on her before we do the final, almost final step. Okay, I'm good. You ready? Three, two, two one. one. Oh my gosh, there's so much gray in there. Why does it have all that much Mine's like gray. Mine's mostly like, like grayish. Okay, I need to get my flathead brush. Oh, there's some blue and red. You can't see any of my other colors. So that's what mine looks like. It's kind of a weird color combo, but it's pretty. Oh my gosh, you put, did you put pink in there? Yeah. I put two bright colors and three dark colors. Mine turned out like kind of weird. Mine's wacky. Yours is pretty. Good thank you. Good thank you. Good thank you. <laughs> That's my thing. Good? Almost. I need to fill in that black stuff. I don't, I don't have, have any black ones. Mine looks sort of like the colors you'd see at a circus. It's just got like... Pink, this is wacky. Green, blue, red. I just said wacky. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so then flip your cup over onto your I'm plate. Take it. Move your plate back over here. Lop. And then take your super skinny brush again. Make sure it's completely dry because then it will smear your paint everywhere. Now push that. Oh gosh. <gasps> Ta da! I'm going to dry that off. I have more paint on my hands. Is there any? I think you're good. Okay, now I'm gonna take my glitter again. Okay, I like that, that's pretty. I have so much extra paint though. I don't think that should be enough. I kinda put that on there wrong, but. Okay. And then when it dries, it's gonna look really cool. Yes. I kinda don't wanna put glitter on this one. I'm not gonna put my any glitter on my second one. I'm just putting it like that. Actually, I'm gonna put kind of tastes bad. Glitter tastes awful, you guys. It tastes so bad. I got it in my mouth. I didn't mean to eat it. I'm done. I think I put a little bit too much glitter on that one. Yeah, but... I did too. Honestly. Ooh, the glitter's pretty. Okay. okay, guys, and that will conclude our DIY marble painting rock video. Part one. Part one. We will see you back in part two, where we will be mod podging our rocks. We're going to let ours dry. Um... Probably for, for like two hours, maybe two or hours, or overnight. It depends on how much um, paint you put on. And um, after our tries, we'll see you next video. Goodbye. Like and subscribe, and turn on post notifications. See you next video.